In the third quarter of the current year, the K plus S group was once again able to considerably improve revenues and earnings in comparison with the same period of the previous year. Revenues rose by 17% and operating earnings increased by almost 70% as compared to last year. The high demand for fertilizers worldwide and the accompanying increase in price level played a decisive role in this positive development. I would like to thank all of our employees, more than 14,000 worldwide. This great result wouldn't have been possible without your commitment. First and foremost, the K plus S group is financially better positioned and thanks to Morton Salt, is operatively more diversified today than in the last crisis. Also, the current framework conditions of our business are different from what they were three years ago. Why? Well, from our perspective, there are fundamental reasons for the current level of agricultural prices, which enables farmers to achieve higher incomes than in the year 2009. The challenge that a global increased demand for cereals carries, with limited areas available for cultivation, decreasing marginal yields and more frequent erratic weather conditions is becoming increasingly obvious from year to year. This also means that the income prospects for farmers are promising worldwide. They have to be in order to offer the necessary incentives on the supply side. On the other hand, there is uncertainty in the trade sector with the 2008-2009 financial crisis still very much in mind. We see an attempt to plan for early stocking up with a certain amount of caution at the end of the year. At attractive cereal prices, the trade sector, however, will try to avoid not having enough product on hand for the coming season. Since the trade sector, in contrast to the situation in 2008-2009, has no speculative inflated stocks at its disposal, this should only affect our business temporarily, if at all. The prospects for the K plus S Group's business, therefore, continue to remain favorable. In the de-icing salt business, we managed to achieve a significant increase in revenues in the third quarter. This was due to higher sales volumes as a result of early stocking up and rising prices in Europe and North America. Above all, in Europe we were able to observe that customers have been stocking up more than they did last year. Moreover, our customers have built up additional storage capacities. In Europe, as recently announced, we too have increased our de-icing salt stocks by additional 100,000 tons to a total of 1 million tons. And if necessary, this winter season we will once again be in a position to provide further volumes of the icing salt from our production sites in North and South America. The K plus S group is well prepared for the coming winter. Against the backdrop of the attractive demand and price trends of the first nine months of 2011, the revenues of the K plus S group are likely to rise significantly in financial year 2011 against the previous year. A figure of between 5 and 5.25 billion euro seems realistic from today's perspective. Operating earnings will most likely improve strongly as compared to the previous year. We expect a figure of between 950 million and 1 billion euro here. In contrast to the forecast in August, we have reduced our estimates for revenues and earnings by 50 million euro at the top end in each case and are therefore taking into account the aforementioned uncertainty in the trade sector. This has also prompted us to be more cautious in respect of our estimate for 2012. With an expected stable development of revenues, from today's perspective, 
we see good opportunities in the coming year to maintain the high level of earnings of 2011.